My name is Kai, this is Kai Likes Linux, and today we will be looking at GNOME 40 on Fedora 33. I'm not going to go through the installation steps because I really didn't want to edit this because I wanted a video to come out today and it's 7 p.m. and I'm like, you know what, screw it, let's just get this done and over with so I can move on to other things in my life. Because in the next couple of months, GNOME 40 is going to become the next big thing in distributions of Linux. Now, I like some of the things in this desktop environment. I got to mess around with it. But it also worsens some of the things I absolutely despise about GNOME 3. However, I would still much prefer GNOME 3 over this disaster for a lot of good reasons. Reasons I will be getting into shortly. Now, GNOME 40 is a GTK4 based desktop environment built by the GNOME Foundation and there is a replacement and the successor of GNOME 3. Why is it called GNOME 40? Probably because the next versions of GNOME 40 are going to be 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, etc, etc, etc. But remember, there was like 38 versions of GNOME 3 before it became any good. So, let's not say that this is a perfect desktop environment just yet, because they have a better versioning scheme. Better. Or at least that's what I'm predicting. Anyways, let's get through the stuff that already makes sense. If you're a GNOME 3 user, these things have not changed. This panel, the settings menu, the notifications menu, Practically none of them have changed in this version of GNOME, except for the fact that they are more or less built on GNOME 4, like GTK 4, I mean. These things are very similar, changing background, same application, probably just GTK 4 and possibly GTK 3, I don't know. And it works just fine. It does its job. And there's no real complaints with any of the applications set here. This part of the desktop environment is perfectly, absolutely fine. The part that they've exaggerated my hate for is the activities menu. Let's start with something. Let's talk about dynamic design. Why have a useless window here that does the same thing as clicking this? You click it, get in. Click anywhere else, you don't. Click this, you get in. Now I can understand like, let's say you have like a terminal app here and a terminal app there. Come on, terminal app there. Like I could see this being like useful, like boop, 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 See, you have multiple versions. Okay, that's perfectly fine. But my problem then comes, why have two? When one is blank, why should it exist? Look, actually, never mind, never mind. Not just that, but why if there's like no applications running, there's no other windows, there's this thing here. Why is this here? There's no reason for this thing to annoy me and just be there taking, removing further space. And when I bring an application to it, no, oh, all of a sudden there's a new, a completely different workspace that's blank. Why is it blank? Like, I don't understand this part of GNOME's three, GNOME 3, of GNOME's design in general, actually. Overall, the GNOME Foundation really screwed up here because why does this have to exist? Why does this have to exist? There's nothing here. Oh, look. Look how productive I'm being. Uh, let's see if, yeah, probably not in a virtual machine. But, uh, they, they, like, I don't see why if I have an application here that this has to exist, taking up, even if it's a slight, fancy, fancy molecule of RAM or CPU usage, that's an fancy, fancy bit of CPU usage I could be using for other things. And when your workflow is like mine, where you're running 200,000 things at once, it's probably best if you don't have to deal with, say a tiny fraction of your RAM being missing or being used by the desktop environment for no real reason. Like, 
fractions of a percent of a gigabyte of RAM, most people wouldn't care. But sometimes, for me, that's the difference between crashing and a successful release of a project. So, I'm pretty angry about that. S another thing. This. Let's put in two applications in here. Why? This is a horrid. Like, I know you can, like, go in and hover and close it. Like, but why couldn't they just figure it out? Huh. Let's take the size of the window and keep this thing within the size of the window. Instead of being this, it could be somewhere like this. And where, if you want to close it, you just hover over it like you do any other of the applications. Instead of having this weird strange like bit of extra space on each end that doesn't necessarily look good to everybody if you like this go go good for you i guess but i really very much don't i really very much don't care about that this window switching menu stuff i could see it working if you had it more dynamic and you also didn't have that fugly as fuck extra space at the top bottom and to, like top side and top and sides oh and uh the bar i know you're trying listen you know i i know you're trying to get as close as you legally can to a mac os looking style without getting sued but trust me what the honest fuck this just removes even further space. I like how in GNOME 3, it didn't do this, but rather had like a sidebar, like over here-ish, that kind of told you all of your workspaces instead of having this whole area right here being wasted space for that. Just have a kind of vertical area where you can also view the applications all up in here and your bar on this side. You didn't have all these strange no animation just switching between tasks and you could just simply oh look i do a thing click 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 instead of oh look i do a thing click click it, to me it's just extraordinarily strange and just why this doc has always bothered me in gnome 3 i wish it was more like, if you had, a, like, the full length of the bar, uh, yeah, it wouldn't look as good for some people, but it would be all... But it would not it would not remove the wasted space problem, but it wouldn't look as bad for me. Personal opinion here. And speaking of personal opinions, what about the worst part of GNOME itself? The wasteful app section. Who, oh, by the way, whose bright idea was it for people to go boop, boop to access their applications? I mean, yeah, you can type to search here. But guess what, Gnome? Not everyone uses search to find their applications. So, I have an unnamed folder. I like the folder stuff. The folder stuff is nice. It's easy to work with. Uh, you can rearrange them. You can put whatever you want in there. I kind of just threw things randomly into random folders like this thing full of random crap. But at the same time, this, like, for example, if we, like, for some reason are sadists, like, uh, not masochists, that's the word, and decide to put everything in the unnamed folder, let's say, uh, we'll, we'll not do everything, but let's say two folders... No more. And while we're doing this, I'm going to do this slowly so I have the uh, this done. Because, you know what, screw it. It will prove my point. Why? Is there so much wasted space? Just like in this video, where I am literally talking to you guys while doing something so utterly useless. Just to prove a point. Why is there so much wasted space, say, if you wanted to put everything into one folder? Because, trust me, there are people like this who are going to put everything in one folder. And all of a sudden, you have all of this unused space. 
cluttering up. Like, if, if this was just maybe centered or all that, I would prefer centered over this. Because people will work like this because people are masochists. And people don't care about their time or energy. Why is there so much wasted space? Why not at least move this to the middle so it at least looks good? It's idiotic. And I'm not just ranting to have like a per t temporary rant. These are similar problems I have with GNOME 3 in the first place. Why do you think I plan on forking GNOME 3 for my own desktop environment? But overall, this desktop environment isn't impressive. It's nothing new. This is so-called big news in the FOSS community when it's really just another reskin of GNOME. The last time this happened, people actually cared because it was a massive redesign. But this time, it just really seems like they're trying to capture what GNOME 3 did because maybe I... This is just a personal theory of mine. But I feel like GNOME's trying to recapture the, the uh, upset that GNOME 3 caused. Why would they want to recapture that upset? Because there's no such thing as bad publicity. There isn't. Oh, ex-actor gets called out for using the racist word? That's not necessarily bad publicity. And some artists, especially in the country, commu country music community right now, will actually benefit from situations like that. Oh, really, eh? This is not too far off from a GNOME 3 design either. It looks like GNOME 3 with a bunch of shitty extensions thrown on top of it. I really wish that if they were going to go with GNOME 40 that they kept at least the majority of the design. This Like, I don't care if they move this stupid dock to the bottom. As long as, like, they kept, like, the actual window switcher, like, on this edge. Because it being here is really just stupid design, in my personal opinion. And... Maybe put like quick access buttons on here or something like or at least, just at least move this crap Over here. That would be so much better so much easier Like honestly, what is your point with this trying to do this? There's so much wrong with this. It looks boring It looks bland and there's a lot of wasted space that could be properly used if you moved one thing over and same with here just move this to the center that's literally all you need for me to give this an okay-ish review otherwise this desktop environment just bland terrible design decisions in my opinion and my name has been Kyle X Linux doubt you really even cared about this video but I hope you enjoyed it anyways have a wonderful day everybody and I'll see you next time